Welcome to this presentation on using Multicad in the Team Center environment. In this presentation, I will open in Inventor an assembly of a model engine. The file has been imported into Team Center and gone through a release process. Next, I'll open the Inventor assembly in NX and using NX, model and add an additional component. The Inventor cylinder model will be modified in Inventor and the resultant update will flow onto the NX components. Finding the Inventor assembly in Team Center is simple as it is similar to doing a web search. Once located, it is opened in Team Center for review. The workflow tab shows the steps taken in the release process. The viewer tab shows a 3D view of the assembly. The overview tab provides general information such as the owner, the last modifying user and its release status. The history tab will show all releases and the release date. I can pin parts I'm currently working on onto the home page for quick access. Selecting the newly created tile shortcut goes directly to the inventor assembly. The assembly is opened in Inventor from Team Center. After reviewing, I'll close the files and return to Team Center. The same inventor assembly is opened in NX to model a new part. The exhaust system geometry is hidden to get to the back of the part. As the assembly has been released, a write protect message comes up. A new NX parent assembly is created. As Inventor and NX are using a different orientation, I'll orientate the part more suitable to NX. A new component called a mount is now created and the geometry modelled.
The mounting hole locations are linked back to the inventor geometry. The mount is saved back into Team Center. A new drawing is now created. A PDF of the drawing is also made. The save prompt is telling me that the engine assembly is right protected. Let's review what has been saved back into Team Center. As the system constantly indexes the data, I can immediately search for the mount. The overview tab presents the part properties. The Viewer tab shows the part in the web browser. The Where Use tab is showing the parent assemblies and the related drawings. The Attachments tab shows the files created for this mount revision. Opening the PDF file will show the drawing in the web browser. The mount is now ready to be released. I've selected a simple release process which only requires one checker. Returning home, my inbox now shows me I have one new task. The task is to initiate or start the workflow. I now need to select a checker on the sign off team and in this case I'll do it myself. The task is sent to me to check and perform the sign off on the part. Add some comments and approve the sign off. The part has been released as indicated by the flag and the release status of approved. The workflow tab shows the steps taken and by who to approve the part. I'll now go through the process of modifying this cylinder in Inventor. I will move two of the mounting holes. As revision A of the cylinder has been released, I will need to revise the part up to revision B. Searching in Team Center for the cylinder shows it at revision A. This is because the current search rule is set to show revisions with the latest status. Revision A is the latest released part. I will now search for the cylinder again, however change in the rule to latest working. Revision B is the current working revision. As the cylinder has been modified, I now need to update the mount part in NX.
Fully opening the mount automatically updates the part. The user is informed that the part has been modified, but as it is released cannot be saved. It needs to go to revision B. Using Team Center, I'll search and open for revision B of the drawing. Update the drawing and save. In Team Center, if you create a new file and don't tell it where to put it, it puts it in the New Stuff folder for handy access. There is now a revision A and revision B of the mount. From within the browser window, I can open and review the changes to the part. In review, an inventor assembly of a model engine was imported into Team Center. The assembly was opened in NX, an additional part called a mount was created using the inventor assembly as a reference. The mount part was then released through a release workflow. The cylinder component was modified in inventor and saved as a new revision. The NX assembly was reopened and the mount part updated automatically the modified cylinder. The mount was then saved as a new revision.